Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Mel from Everything Marmy. Well, my goodness. Okay, so I jump all around. I jump all around in everything that I do. I'm really, really behind on my other planners, but you know what? Like, that's fine. They'll wait. Um, right now I was focusing on uh, the personal ring planner and I really love this pink um, watercolor planner not sure of what kind of planner it is. Um, I might have even covered it up. It was something I'd thrifted. Um, it's probably not a very expensive planner at all. And I didn't pay very much for it at all. Now I'm like this with planners, okay, folks? So um, as much as I love the expensive planners, and believe me, I do, and I have a few, and I'm gonna show you them today because in an effort to go through the inserts for this particular uh, ring planner, which, uh, please excuse my nails, by the way, um, I was like, okay, I know, I know I have a lot a, of inserts, and so I was going through some of my other books for inserts, and then I went to um, where I store all of my stuff for planners that I've donated. So what happens is, is I, I find these planners, usually at Value Village or something like that, anywhere from 2 to $5. That's usually my spread. I've spent up to $8 on a planner. And they come, some of them come with like inserts. And some of them don't. So... I'm just trying to see here if I have an example. I think I do. I think this was one of my last ones. That's just like a, another cheapy one. But you see it's got a few. Actually, no, I've added these recently. Okay. Inserts. I mean, it had a few. Um... But this one now has, like, it's set up. It has, like, some months in it. It's got some weeks in it. Um, it's got dailies in it. Notes. And then it's got different kind of monthlies, which I could use for gratitude or for memories of the day. Um, different kinds of weekly planners, which I could use as a food log or an exercise log or spending log. Um goals and notes, you know, I just haven't tapped them out. And then it's got an expense tracker. And I know these came out of these little books, which are similar. Let me just see if I've got it on the table here. Yeah, I do have one. This one is the calendar version um, from Michael's. Michael's had a huge sale on at one point um, of these um personal size books and I remember going to Michael's and like they were like I don't know I want to say a buck 98 or a buck 97 whatever their version is which is really cool now this one was written all in pencil I took I don't know 20 minutes and I erased you know some pencil in there might have missed a page or two but uh, so this video is about showing you how I don't throw this stuff away and I don't for a reason. So uh, it has the back pockets here. I haven't decorated it at all, but if I wanted to go into this personal size planner and what I love about this personal size planner that I picked up is that it matches this Hobonichi Weeks cover, you know, and yeah, I do tend to be a little matchy-matchy on occasion. So I really like that. But I was looking for something pink. I wanted something pink. And it's August and, you know, um, I like the watercolor look of this. You know. Um, basically, it just has, it does have these... Um, tabs in it, stickers in it, blank. Well, I, I blank them out. Um, it had a different kind of monthly that I've added to it. These are weeklies. 
these are communications um, because I do have meetings. I have editor meetings. Um, these are track trackers, habit trackers, and I did order these ones off of Amazon. And then it's got projects. I like that. And then it's got expenses. Now, again, the expenses came out of a book, you see. Um, these were the expense version of those books. And then these were um, inserts and then goals and notes. So I've got goals and then I've got notes. And then these inserts here um, or these um, dividers, they're like gold plastic. And I've left them in here um, for now with some extra stuff. And they'll probably come out and I'll probably put them into something else. But for now, I was just working through it. I left a clear pocket with, uh, you know, you could put some stickers in there, a paper clip or two. I also put a red zip in here with some like ephemera and some like flags. And then I've got another one here with some stickers and more of those dividers. Now those dividers are probably going to come out. And then I just put this, let's do this. And it came out of a subscription box. Okay, so that's how I did that for now. Now it's really chunky, it's too chunky. So that, that back section really has to come out. It really does, all of this really has to come out from here because I don't, I don't like it chunky like that. I mean, I want, I want there to be some growth. So I'm just going to grab a paper clip and I keep these like, by the hundreds, honestly. And I'm just going to paper clip the whole thing. And this is actually how I archive um, my, my information too. Let's just see, because in my work, my work folio, which I've been asked about before, and I tend to go off on these tangents, so please excuse me, but I'm just seeing if I can find really quickly I was archiving my one work book and of course it's going to be at the bottom or maybe not okay well it doesn't matter maybe I left it in here so um, for a long time I was carrying around this case here and I tend to be all over the place guys please forgive me uh, when I start out with a video, I tend to like jump around because I don't think for me, like I try to make sense of it too. Like I use these videos for myself as well. I use these videos to say, okay, why do I have so many of this or so many of that? And the reason is folks is because I have uh, a brain that works in a very interesting way. So I like to have like um, a compartmentalized system, which actually over the last month and a half, oh my goodness, and I'm hot again. So off comes the sweater. Uh, I really thought I was done with menopause, but who knows? <laughs> um, so needless to say, I have a bunch of stuff and I like to play in all of it. And it's fine because I have usually the Hobonichi Cousin, which is a year-round thing, a Hobonichi Weeks, which is a year-round thing. Um, I've been keeping planners since at least, I would say, 1997. Um, I didn't start even showing them on this channel until recently, actually, because this channel used to be a crafting channel. So anyway... Back to this, I wanted a pink planner. Then I remembered um, that I had two other planners, expensive ones. But here's my reasoning. You know when you get a new car and you're all 
concerned that somebody's going to open the door and like scratch the door. And so when it does happen, you completely freak out and you don't know what to do. And in, until you come to terms with that, it's like, oh, so I love planners that look loved. So I thrift them. And then that way, if something happens to it, I'm like, no big deal, right? Okay, so let me move that for a second and explain further. So this here was my case for my work planner in 2021. 2021, okay? And it's a Medela um, carrying case. And the reason it's like this is because when I'd go to my editor's meetings, uh, this was in like... Um, actually it was before the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, I liked the fact that it was like this material here. It's got the double zippers, which I liked. And more than that. Oh, see, this is how I, this is how I basically archive them like that. So this had a Medela matching case. I thrifted this whole thing too. These were my basic supplies that I used and everything was self-contained. Everything was self-contained. This is a day timer um, that was in there. One of these plastic little things that were in there and this planner here, oh, I have this little container in this bag. Let's hope that I can open it. Look at that, it's got glue. It's got a little knife cutter. It's got even a little stapler. Staples, an eraser, scissors, paper clips, and tape. And behind all of that is a ruler. Really cute. 99% of my supplies, 99% of these kind of supplies are thrifted. Then I've got two books here. One is this one. Let me just check to make sure I've got nothing. Okay. I'm just going to move it down a bit. But this was a, another Moleskine um, hardcover book where I used it to write down my topics. And then this has a Smashbook uh, elastic on it. And again, I'm just going to check, folks, to see. It is a very old... Oh, good. I did clear it out. It is a very old... Look, it's got the calculator. Remember these? Um, a pocket here, a notebook here, and in here it's got names and addresses, okay? These are super old, super old, but it's eel skin leather. And, you know, people were getting rid of them left, right, and center. So I grabbed that up, it fit in the bag, and then this planner here was my work planner. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And let me just see if I cleared out enough stuff in here. It is a day timer. It's super soft. See that? Super soft. And I think I removed pretty much all of the work stuff out of here. Yeah, because I've moved to a whole different system. I use that for a washi card, by the way. Um, and then in the back here, I um, had these beautiful, like, trackers. And I would use these trackers to track off which days I worked, for what topics, etc., etc., etc. So I've been doing this for a long, long time. And it had two lovely pockets here, which I had my business cards in. And all of that fit in this gorgeous little case. Now I have a number of these cases um, for different things. So this one was my work planner. And the reason I'm showing you that is because as you can see, that planner, like all of this was thrifted. All of it was thrifted. Um, and I'm very fortunate because I've, I've read some of the comments and some of you are saying that, you know, there are no thrift stores near your place. And I'm sorry to hear that. I even, well, this wasn't thrifted. This little kitty cat at the front and this palm, just to make it pretty. But that was a self-contained work unit. And so, the reason that I'm showing you that is because I wanted to go from that system into a beautiful Filofax. 
so in 2020, yeah, because that was 2018, 2019. So in 2020, I ordered two Filofaxes. And I just about had a heart attack because of the price. I hope you guys have your coffees. I know I need mine tonight. So this one here still has all of the papers that came out of the original book. So 2021 is when I went and did this. So I had another system from, I ordered it in 2020, got it for 2021. As you can see, I didn't use any of this. Um, I used a completely different book system in 2020. Yeah. And of course, as you know, with the pandemic, it was just different. I kept everything right down from ripping the book open. And then I decided because I got two, I wanted to debring it. Now, these D-rings, it was the first time I ever did it. Now, you can only imagine. I spent a freaking fortune on these things. And they weren't like normal. Like, I couldn't unscrew them. Um, like, they're all busted now. These are busted. I kept them just simply to show you. Uh, they bent, they busted, whatever. Because I wanted a folio cover. That's what I wanted. Because I wanted to start using a Stalogy. So my first Stalogy was in 2021. And this was the Malden here. The purple Malden. And I think I've shown that before. And what I did was, and I think all of you have seen this, it didn't have this book in it. It had a regular book in it, but I found I could not use this purple because it was too distracting. I had to end up going back to a black ring planner. Uh, I got, I just got used to working with a black ring planner. Now, as you can see, it's not really damaged here on the outside, but I mean, these, these Maldens, they're not cheap folks. So like, here I was, a newbie, ripping, literally ripping. I, I exacto knifed it here. I, I did it by the seat of my pants. I had no idea what I was doing. But I can actually, I can put more rings in it. I've learned how to do that. And I just did this decorative um, B6 allergy just because I was like, I don't know, playing around. So I'm actually going to leave it like that because that's coming out of there. But that was the purple one. Now, at the same time I ordered the purple one, I thought I was... Because my intention was to turn one into a folio. The other one was this one. And you know it sat in the box. And the reason it sat in the box is because... Look at it, folks. I've had this planner immaculately like this for two years two years and I haven't even taken the cover off of it look at that it was made in the UK and this is her she's got the rings in it and I'm just looking at the rings now do you see how like I don't know if you can see but like I have to look up videos on how to upgrade those rings because they've made it so you can't. And that's why it was really, really difficult. Um, but this is the exact one of the purple one. I think it is anyway. Let me just take a look. No, it's not, isn't it? No, they're different. So I got this one. Yeah, they're different. They are different. This one is not the Malden. This one is the original Filofax. It's got a pen loop there. It's got another pen loop here. It's got another thing there. This one's different, much different. So yeah, I haven't done anything with this one at all. So literally I'm desiring a pink planner. So why didn't I go and use this one? Well, 
because it goes back to that car theory. You know, like, what if I get it wrecked? This is why I knit this thing for this molding. Uh, I regret removing the rings. Um, I do, because none of the other, like, folio covers were on my radar at the time so anyway i've got a brand new Philofax in pink personal size that i'm not using and of course i have all of these these Philofax. like they even gave you a year extra for 2021 look at that so i have a lot of this stuff and it's sitting beautifully on shelves. So what I wanted to show you is that when I thrifted stuff, when I thrifted stuff, what I would do if they weren't for me, because some of the planners I had to go through, I mean, I had literally dozens. And how many does a person need, right? Like, honestly. And they were duplicates. So what I did was I robbed all of the... See what I mean about the budget books? And the inspiration books. These are all for personal size. Um, even, like, these kind of photo sleeves. You could cut them and then just tape them. Like little pockets... I kept everything. I even have Frank Covey um, folders in here, memo pads, um, various different kinds, envelopes. Oh, my daughter drew these pictures here. I've got some stickers here. And then, yeah, 365, the Frank Covey the whole thing. Now, I don't know if I just gave the the planner away to somebody uh, that I knew because she liked the cover. Uh, probably I did. And then I, I said to her, well, I'm going to keep the inserts. Um, but I'm thinking back now. So yeah, there's a lot in here. So really, and these are my faves. I love the foldouts. The assignment ones. I use these a lot. A lot. Um, not for school, but for my 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 job. We've got shopping lists. And then look at this. I love this. Now look how far back it goes, folks. 2001. 2001. But does that bother me? Absolutely not. Because it's just... A calendar it's just a calendar and then 2002 so when I was in the forces I was using this to mark my deployment days I had photocopied this and then just kept the original so I was marking my deployment list I was marking the things that were important um, I love those foldouts and then you know like, this is just absolutely chocker block full of just different... Oh, whatever's on that one, I missed. What is on here? See, if I thrifted this book, which I probably did, I didn't know that there was writing in it. What is this? Um, yeah, I'm just going to chuck those, unless I can paper over them. I might just leave them and paper over them because I don't I don't know if they're like in order of something. Um, but as you can see, like I've got everything from Filofax stuff. Look at these monthlies, 2004. I mean, there's a lot of telephone numbers back there in those days. And then these are completely different too. Um, completely different and then you know these kind of setups and what's this oh butterfly stickers i love butterflies they're in absolutely everything and then i even have more than this folks i mean this is this is a good portion of it for sure but i have more um 
I just wanted to show you how I stored them. And I got this zip-up bag. Where did I get this? Was it the Dollar Tree? Could have been the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like somewhere like that, you know? So it was great because I could see in it. And then, um, like I've got other things too. Like, I mean, I even, I even bought things like this at the Dollar Tree for, um, because they had the covers, like the Happy Planner covers. And I always just use it for inspiration, you know, like how do I want to set up my books and stuff, right? So I went through all of this. I mean, I had calendars. I have um, like the clear stickers, the daily, weekly, whatever, Filofax, um, more of these Filofax. And somebody had put 850. I don't know. I didn't pay that. I assure you I did not pay that. 850 for like these tabs um and paper i'm sure this is amazon the dot grid because dot grid wasn't even in my lineup this is all aliexpress yeah clip back so i had to wait for this from aliexpress and then this is uh part of a budget planner so i do have like more however the whole point of this particular video was that I collected and used up um, stuff in here to make this particular planner just something I want to play in. And I wanted to keep it simple enough. I didn't take that one out. Why not? It doesn't have this. This None of these have those um, back lifting, um, I forget what they're called, the, uh, you know, the risers, they don't have any of those, um, I, yeah, I'm not as decorative in rings as I am in, um, book bound systems, and, I'm still kind of feeling my way around because I'm not a pretty plan planner kind of girl. I'm, I'm more functional, but um, I really want to make it more aesthetically pleasing. So even putting these colors in here now, it kind of hoops me up a little bit, but um, these are some of the projects that I've been working on too. See, it says water, sleep, workout. Many of you know that in my last flip of my what I'll call one book, um, which is the, it was the morphing of Monique Smith's system, you know, in this, in this book here. Okay. Which is, uh, in the basic stylogy. Okay. And then I got to basically the point where I was, instead of doing trackers, I was doing, um, health logs and health logs have mood, exercise, sleep, self-care, um, and spending. But I also added water, like add water, um, because I noticed that my water consumption is not been as great. So, um, and then it has these wellness goals and this is a B6. So it's like almost the same or our personal is almost the same as the B6. So literally like these two are the same sizes, same sizes. See that? But yet they're different colors. So that's why I didn't go into the Filofax. I do have a beautiful Filofax. I did not get into it. Um, that's why I wanted to go into the standard too, because I don't want to have like two books of the same so right now until the end of august i have the b6 one book that goes all the way to the end of august um and i'll forever be grateful to monique smith for inspiring me with this um with these topics here so that it forced me, literally forced me to know what was important. And so that it took the pressure off me because I was doing like six books and I was freaking out that I couldn't get to all of them. Like I, I haven't updated my 
my Hobonichi uh, cousin or my weeks. I'm just going to remove this for a second. Um, let's take a look here now. Um, because my schedule, folks, my schedule is like absolutely ridiculous. So the last time I had done a week in this Hobonichi had been July 31st to the 6th of August. That's when the last time I laid down. I go to the dailies, however, and I mean, these ones were given a lick and a promise to begin with, and then I get to the 15th, 16th of July, and that was it. That was it, dead stop. Because I couldn't keep up. I didn't want to be working for these planners. I wanted the planners to be working for me. I have a commit 30. I, I basically couldn't do that either. Um, I have dailies. I have weeklies. I have kept up with the Hobonichi weeks for the most part. Um, let's see. These trackers, I mean, are easy because I've mastered now. These stopped being a habit tracker because the minute they became ingrained in my memory of doing it they ceased being something needing to be tracked does that mean make sense like once it became an actual everyday thing to do i didn't have to track it anymore i knew i was doing it um so let's see if i put anything in the monthly so here's august nothing's there um which is fine and yeah there were some things in july so i mean where are we we are at the 9th of August, right? Right there. So, I mean, it's not too, too bad. I'm not too far behind. Um, that's just, and this was the uh, April start, I believe. Hope in two weeks, April start, which I can't tell. But yeah, I think it was. Um, so I got all the way to Friday the 4th of August in here. So I'm not too far behind in those two main books, which was my main system. And then the last part of my main system was in this book here, which is my um, Moleskine. It's a notebook, not, not dailies. And I got to the 6th of August. So I'm not too far behind in my main system so that all being said i mean that would take a session of i don't know not very long not very long and just recently if you've missed it i got this beautiful baby it's a standard now look at this you see the difference okay that's what i wanted i wanted i wanted different okay so if I do carry on with the system that I've been using and I'm morphing and adapting from Monique Smith, uh, even though I haven't done anything here, I haven't changed this paper, I haven't done anything here. Um, I mean, today was really, really busy, folks. I mean, holy. I had three appointments and then my daughter wanted to get together with my baby grandson, who's only like five months old. It was like super busy. Um, but then it would just mean I set this up for September. I've got some papers I've cut up in here. I did show the papers I'd use. Um, so if I went to this size, it would be different. And then I would have these rings. And the only other thing that I would want, I would think, is like a pocket size strings, right? And I was thinking of the white, even though it's September coming up. Because I did get, where are you, baby? And I did set this up, but I want to focus some more on, like I got this Motorm one. So I guess this video is just sort of catching you all up in my thought processes. I was shocked at myself that I got this for myself because it's white very white and again look at the colors 
They're just so not block. <laughs> I still have a work planner, folks. Uh, I can never not have a work planner. I can never show it in its entirety. I just showed you what it had been before. This one, however, um, look how thick and lovely and lush that is. Anything can go in here. Absolutely anything can go in here. You know, look, it's got all of these things. I can decorate these pages. I wouldn't probably use these back pockets. I might just use that little pocket there. Um, the Motrams always have this back pocket and this zipper, but I just love the white cover and I love the chunkiness of it all, you know? So that is my video today of why I thrift for like these kind of binders and why I'm not using like my very expensive Filofax. I'm actually, I'm not even sure if I want to sell it. Because quite honestly, if I sell it, like it would probably go to somebody who doesn't worry about it being scratched or whatever. Um, those two filofaxes, the molden that I de-ringed the way I did. I mean, I could put rings back in it and I should. Uh, and I probably will um, if I can. Because I love the color purple. But I didn't want to be doing anything with the pink one. And after I did the purple one just to have it as a um i'm just putting this back in the box sorry folks after i did the purple molden and of course like i said the pink one is not the molden it's just the original file box and i'm dropping stuff off my table which oh my goodness I hope this counts as exercise. I say that all the time. Okay. Um, I love the molden. I love the molden. I love that it's in purple. Um, but it's just a matter of now me ordering rings and putting rings in there. Um, because it's a beautiful, beautiful size. Like that, those two together would have been fantastic. Right? I have enough now. I have enough folio covers. But at the time, I couldn't find any folio covers um, until I was like, I went to Chic Sparrow or Chic Sparrow and I had to order it and it took forever and a day. And um, like, I'm impatient, guys. Like, I didn't want to wait. Um, so I literally ripped the, the literally you saw those rings, ripped the rings out to, to do a planner. Um, even though this thing at the time, I think, was like $300. Um, you know, why would anybody do that? $350, I think it was. Ridiculous. And that was two years ago. And so, I mean, <laughs> I literally crocheted a, a cover for it because I was like, oh, no, I'm not getting it scratched because I'd have a heart attack. Um, but I did that so I could hold it like that. So anyway, I, I don't know what I'm going to call this video. I guess I'm going to call this video why, why I choose the planners I do, where I get them from. I don't know. I really love this one because I'm not concerned about it. Uh, the setup will be a bit different, but these inserts and where I keep all of the old inserts, like when I thrift and I find all these like mismatched inserts, Gosh, what a savings. Like, you know, you go to buy those inserts. I went to Staples and they had Filofax inserts. I think it was 87 Canadian dollars. It was absolutely nutty. I would never do it. Never do it. I would I would bullet journal before I did that. It's crazy. Um, and yet, you know, I de-ringed a $350 planner. Like, like, go figure. But look how wide those rings are. Those are 25 inch rings. So it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, folks, that's my video. Um, storage ideas. Where to look for planners. What I did to my mold in. The fact that I still have this beautiful um, Filofax, the original personal in pink baby pink and I remember when I got this 
This was the very last baby pink Filofax in person that they had. Absolutely. You know, and it's just been sitting there. So I don't know what to do with it. You know? I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, that is my video. And I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Remember, folks, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. I'm going to be doing more on this. I have a few videos that I want to decorate books. Um, the standard one for sure. Um, I am looking very much forward to this because I've decided to go standard the 400 page mole scheme um, for September, October, and probably November would fit in here with me. This is 400 pages. I don't know, like there's 365 pages in the Salogy and I did two months. And thank you, Monique, for telling me how many pages were in the Stalogy. Um, So maybe I'll get like, depending on how much I journal and commonplace I need, and thank you for everybody that, you know, gave me tips and tricks about how to, you know, file this down with sandpaper and whatnot. I actually don't mind the roughage. And, um, but I really wanted this book because it fit another book here for the yearly. And so those, those are what I do. Like I just, you know, I just play. I just play in all these systems. And then when I'm done playing, I remove the inserts and I carry on as normal. So that just keeps my hands busy. It keeps me, you know, it keeps me creative. It keeps me from doing things. And I love learning what other people do with their stuff because, you know, we're on here to share our experiences. So folks, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Please be safe and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.